Okay, so let's get to know Smug Mug. That's a place where you're gonna spend a lot of time this year with your photography. So I'm gonna start out just like you would the first time. If you look at the screen, I'm going to select a new tab in Google. I'm going to type in smugmug.com. And here we have our login. So on your agenda, you have this information, um, but I'm going to type it in here. So our site that um, you all pay for through your fundraising is called Stockbridge Publications. Password is in your agenda, and I'm going to type that here. And then I'm going to say, remember me, and I'm going to log in. So once I get here, I'm going to go to the front page and show you a couple things. Okay, so this is the photo site for our work, whether you're in your book, you're on the web, social media, or um, print uncaged. It's called, right here if you look, it's called uh, Stockbridge Publications. I can't figure out how to change this, so don't let that trip you up, okay? All right, so a journalism term that you should know is called a morgue, and um, the name of death is implied purposely. It's a term that means um, dead files or old files. So if I click on this morgue, these are pieces of work from previous years, um, dating back a good, uh, I don't know, six, seven years. And in each of these volume years and freelancers and such, there are tons of photos. Um, we keep a morgue because sometimes we do follow-up stories and we'll do a historical perspective and we want to go back and use some of our own photography. So um, that's a good place to know and um, maybe use in your work. Okay, but right here will always be your um, publications for this year. So this says 2021 publications because that's the graduating class school year. And I see some of you are already in here, um, but I will go through the process to show the rest of you how to um, make an account in here so that you can start storing your work. Okay, so I'm on our 2021 site, which is where I want to be. I come up to the top menu bar and I click on organize. So this is sort of like uh, Internet Explorer um, where you would go in and manage your files um, on your Chromebook or your computer. So I'm concerned with 2021. I'm going to click on here and it's going to show me all the files. So if I down arrow just like you do in Google, I can see that um, these students have their folders already. So let's take mine for example. I started mine in August. So if I click on my name, I have an August gallery. What I want you to do is mimic what I'm doing here, what I have here in August. All of our files are sorted by month. And we do that because all the work we do is chronological. So if you want to do a comparison, like let's say you're doing athlete profiles and you wanted to do soccer and you want a girls and boys, well, you would know that boys soccer is in August and September and that'd be a first place to look. Okay, but let's say I'm gonna create a student name. So I'm, in or I'm on the organize tab and I come here and I hit create. I want to make a folder to store my galleries in. That's critical functioning right here, a folder where I store my gallery. So I'm gonna make a folder and the title is going to be my last name. So um, I'm gonna put that in there. Colbert, 
I'm going to hit create. So if I look here, I um, did not mean to put that under my folder, but watch what I can do. I can take this folder and I can drag it up where it needs to be under 2021. So here we go. Here's the folder. It says there's nothing in it yet. So I want to create here and I want to make a gallery. Okay, so I'm going to title the gallery August so that I have my first place to start storing photos. So now you can see under this folder called Cobert, there's an August folder. September is right around the corner. Let's just say you were going to add another gallery. So I'm going to go to my own. I'm on my folder. I'm going to hit Create, Gallery, and I'm going to type September. And then I hit Create. So now let's take a look at the next step, and that is adding photos. So because you are all on your phones or your Chromebooks and only a few of you have SD cards so far, that process is a little bit different. You put the SD card into your Chromebook. Um, I will show you how to upload photos from your phone in a second. So here in September, I'm sorry, in August, these are the photos that I have taken for the staff. Okay, so right here, this is something that I'm working on with you. This is a photo I took for an Instagram post. If I click on it, I get this full version view of it. If I come here, to photo details. This is amazing. Look at all of the information I have. Those of you who know how to shoot manually, it tells me um, what my focal length was, what my aperture is, what my ISO was set at. It's a really low ISO. All this information. Okay. Under the photo details, if I hit edit, you can see the title of this. The name of the salon was called Alux Salon. And my um, writing is going to be about the pandemic and having a business during the pandemic. So I wrote that as a key word. The reason we do that is because this site is searchable. So let's say I come here to one of these football photos and I go to my add photo details. I should write and then here I should write football again. There's a practice. And then I don't know the names of these students, but you all do, so you would write their names here. So then another student come in, could come in and search the site for any of these students' names or for football. Okay, I'm going to stop here and start a new video about how to upload into SmugMug. So your job is to create your own SmugMug now in the same systematic way that I did. Have fun!